Hi all, in this video we'll be learning how to create bar charts and line graphs on math numbers. Okay, so this is the table uh, that I have. Uh, it basically uh, has the fruits and vegetables as uh, the rows and there are two stores A and B and the numbers here are the quantity of every fruit and vegetable. So now let's create a graph for store A, just store A. So select the column store A and click on chart. And this will give you a basic bar graph. Uh, just increase the width if in case uh, the rows are being hidden. And now you can see here that every fruit or vegetable is represented by a bar here. So this is a bar chart. And now let's create it for both the stores. Right. So select both the stores, both the columns, and click on chart and click on this option. And now increase the width. And here you can see for every vegetable or fruit you have two bars one for store a one for store b and here you have the legend here uh, blue represents store a and green represents store b and now if you want to edit something simply press on click on the chart and you'll find four options here to edit now under the chart option you can edit the font here to probably anything that you want and you can change the cut chart color and if you want rounded corners in the bars you can drag it to how much ever you want and you can increase the gaps between each bars you can decrease it and in the series option if you want a trend line Suppose if you want a linear trend line, it shows you how it increases or, you know, on an average, it shows you how the graph is being represented by uh, the given data. So you can select any trend line that you want here. And now let's try creating a line graph. So select both the columns. and click on chart and this option will create a line graph increase the width and here it's the same data same uh, data representation but instead of bars lines are being created and for these uh, you can set a trend line probably a linear trend line will be helpful so this shows you the growth of each uh, graph that is being represented here. So hope you understood how to create bar charts and line graphs on math numbers. Thank you.